As President Trump delivered his State of the Union address last night, the visuals became a public relations nightmare for petulant, grumpy Democrats. Here are some of the things Democratic lawmakers signaled that they didn't like. We proudly stand for the national anthem. The motto is, In God We Trust. We enacted the biggest tax cuts and reforms in American history. African-American unemployment stands at the lowest rate ever recorded. Giving our veterans choice in their health care decisions. Let's bring in Republican pollster, public opinion guru, Frank Luntz. He joins us from West Virginia. All right, Frank, uh, the trigger words. I'm sorry, I was screaming laughing when things like In God We Trust, and then they pan the crowd at the State of the Union, the Democrats are all sitting on their hands. What triggered them the most and what drove them right over the edge? Well, they didn't want to hear any success. So every time that Donald Trump pointed to a specific statistic, a fact about how things had changed in the last 12 months, you saw no reaction from the Democrats. Second, is that any time that he suggested that he was going to reach across the aisle and find some sort of bipartisanship, they wanted no part of it. And third, it, it goes back to the promises that he made and the fact that he is attempting to keep them. That, and it, I think it's a tragedy, quite frankly, that the Democrats don't realize that with Donald Trump's success, America succeeds. Laura, a lot of people criticized the Republicans under the Obama administration that they wanted him to fail. And yet now it looks like, and I think this is a tragedy for the country, that too many congressional Democrats want Trump to fail so they can take over the White House. But what does that do to the country? That's a real problem. What was amazing is on the immigration issue, you had Trump going from 800,000 getting amnesty, Frank, to 1.8 million getting amnesty. And he said, look, I'll, people aren't going to get everything they want. That's compromise. I'm willing to compromise. Let's get this done together. It's like crickets, tumbleweeds were blowing through the Democrat section. Well, this is something that the Republicans have to realize that even, and I'm in West Virginia right now, and the gentleman standing behind me, they're the reason why Donald Trump maintains his popularity and why he did so well last night. They feel listened to, they feel heard, and a lot of Americans felt left out until Election Day 2016. On immigration, the public has to understand that it doesn't look like the Democrats themselves are ready to compromise. And if you don't get this legislation that provides border security as well as a solution for DACA, if it doesn't happen, it won't, because, won't be because of Donald Trump. It will be because of congressional Democrats. Yeah, Frank, I thought you needed bodyguards for a second. Those guys, I want those guys to travel with me. I'll travel with them. <laughs> they, look pretty, they look pretty strong. Guy, I love it. Or, uh, I asked them the question, are any of these guys packing? This guy right here, he's okay. packing. All right, okay, good. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it at there. Uh, Frank Luntz, thanks so much. We'll be right back. Stay right there.